Okay, Mitch Wise, what's up going on? What's going okay, on? Okay, okay, why? Why are we on the topic of Rihanna? Okay. Why are people giving such negative reviews of the fact she got thug life tattooed on her knuckles? Because she ain't bought that life. I thought it was rather funny because we all know she's out of thug. I thought it was pretty funny. I think she just looking for attention, I, you know. I def- you know what? Let me tell you, this is a, this is just like a rollover with this whole Chris Brown, Rihanna, um, Karuchi triangle. Mm-hmm. I just think this is just an outlash at that, you know, because the whole little Twitter thing going with her and Chris Brown saying, um, I love using you like and different stuff like songs this. to talk about each other subliminally. Mm-hmm. It just go right into that little thing, her tweet. Saying, you know, F that and you know, all that other mm-hmm. stuff. You got me on my whatever. Yeah. This just goes right into her talking about thug life. We all know Rihanna ain't no thug. She ain't no, she can't handle that life. You know what I'm saying? I she don't ain't know. That. I but think again, when she got beat up by Chris Brown, she became a thug, so that won't happen yeah. again. Okay, you tell me what fight did Rihanna win since then? Who's to say she got in the fight since then? Who's to say she can handle that life because her rap, she ain't Listen, rapping nothing. Who to say she won the fight in the beginning with? You seen her face. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So how she bought that life? Is Wait, she ain't win who's to say same? she lost? Don't get it twisted. What loser is a thug? We all know way into Excel, <laughs> that, that car scene with Lawrence Fishburne and Angela Bassett got into it. She got the brakes beat off her, but she beat up Lawrence Fishburne, right. though. Wrong, wrong movie part to this side. What's love got to do with it? But that's all right, though. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. Right. Same movie, same <laughs> that's difference. It, that's the same thing with Drake thinking he bought that life that he could take common. But, you know, what's next? <laughs> next, next. I don't know if y'all following uh, the political uh, presidential race for 2012. True. You know that. But yeah. uh, one of the Republican candidates, Newt Gingrich... He said in the interview that kids from the inner city families, code name for black kids, inner city families, <laughs> aren't used to seeing people work, and that school systems should employ those kids to clean bathrooms to um, teach okay, them okay. how to work. Whoa. Whoa. Let him continue. Let him continue because no. I'm going to say something. Inner city kids don't know anything about employment? No, no. Know anything about work? They said, he said now, inner city kids are not used to being around families that work. Making it seem that people who live in the inner city the just that don't work. Them the ones that work the hardest. Whoa. Them the ones exactly. that work the hardest. Exactly. Because we're trying to make ends meet. Because we don't want to go to sleep and our lights are off. This man sleep. Yes, it, he is. Listen, we can go all day yeah. about this little man talking yes. about how we... We mean the inner city people who know but who know about their life, who yes. have struggled. Yes. Talking about we don't know how to work. Okay, calm and, down, calm down. Don't get your gun. Don't get your gun. One thing we can fix this and one thing we all should do to fix this is research these candidates running for president Absolutely. and pick the right one. All I'm Absolutely. gonna say is early voting is now. All people. I'm gonna say is Barack Obama. He has no competition. Okay, right. that president he has no we competition. Turn this quickly into political right now, and we're gonna do it for thirty for ten seconds. Mark thirty seconds. Get set. <laughs> go. You you you. I'm, ju- I'm just saying, like, there's no competition. There's like, no competition. No competition. At competition. All, man, President Obama, like he got who saw who said he got them people over up in, in Libya, like things, he got the people, the soldiers, bring the soldiers me, home. Better. He don't attack the healthcare the creditors, the banks, the loan people. He was like, listen. If y'all know these people can't afford that, don't give it to them. You feel me? Like, he let people have it. Yes. During this presidential just like, he got my vote. And any president that can I'm, sing Al Green, like, you, I'm with okay. you. Okay. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? You cool. He human. You feel me? He, he his swag he alone is going to get him another four years. He know how to talk. He's smart. And he cool. He play football with his shirt off. You know what I mean? And plus. <laughs> shirt off. And my plus, my shit off and plus studio, we feel like gotta worry about no other, you know, female trying to get at him. Cause look at Michelle. Michelle ain't having. They look at Michelle like, okay, never mind. 
No, you know what I'm saying? Like, they okay, hold it Obama down in the White House for this four years. We got another four years with President Barack Obama. Definitely. I mean, because there's no competition. No competition. Once, look at Herman Cain. He was, he was such the black sheep. I'm sorry to cut you off, but he was such the black sheep. Like, in the beginning, everybody's like, oh, President Obama, he ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nothing. Like, that man came on top. At the end of his, at the end of his term, he done came on top. He done did so many accomplishments for the little man, you know, from unemployment to food stamps, whatever. We out here trying to get it. You yeah. feel me? We don't know. We riding around and we getting it. Riding around and getting it. Spend so, it. Who got my vote? I ain't playing. Church on the move. K Mitch, I know Church you got to move. Church on the move. We're moving to my next Y. And go. this is for us poor college kids. If you have a federal student loan, expect your interest rate to double. And it's already too expensive to go to college as it is. They gonna make it so you have to pay more money if you take out loans See, this to is go what to you college. do. You stay in school. You stay in school, you ain't gotta pay them. I heard that. But we can't be in school forever. Now see, and you ever, know, I know and a ever, couple ever. people, you know what I'm saying? Um, they take one class and they consider them to be in school forever. Um, can ever. I just say something real quick? Go ahead. <clears throat> I was reading this Debt Cures book because I'm so like involved with tax and money. You know, I'm just the outcome yeah, I'm going to So, so like you're, that. Doing, you're, doing ta- you're doing people taxes? You know, I, you know, you know, I the, do that. The, I do that. I do that. I do that. I do that. But the anyway, for the people who are having problems like with loans and y'all, wor- y'all so-called worry about being able to pay it, in Florida, if your liabilities... Are less than your assets, meaning if you if you owe owe so much money and you make less than that within four years, if you cannot pay your loans off, that money is not attached to you at all. Oh. All states have a certain number of years. Wow. If, if you if you cannot pay that, then it's not attached to you we anymore. Talk so many, no, nobody don't know that. So yeah. within Florida, it's four years. If your liabilities are over your assets. All you do is get your accountant to send like the state a letter saying that you can't pay it and you good. Well, thank God, Miss Miss is, is on it, the show. You feel because me? I'm one of these poor kids that's taking that loans to go to school, and I'm gonna make sure in four years my liabilities is more than my assets. I'm gonna assets. have to hear, I'm gonna have to hear <laughs> that Miss sure. Miss accountant. I'm just saying, you right. know, you know they can't force years. you to pay something that you can't pay. Exactly. So yeah, we got you got that. You got. Speaking that. of college, my last wife. Yes, you man. know Bruce Jenner. The wife of the husband, the, yes, <laughs> same difference. We know tomato, tomato. Got you, got you. Got the you. Kardashian Bruce Jenner, we'll put it like that. Okay, he said the two little girls, Kendall and Kylie, may skip college and go right to the work for you. And I'm wondering why. I understand that their family's pretty wealthy, but why not send your kid to college to get that degree? I know they can afford it. I know they can afford it. It's going to be a point in time where mom and dad is not going to be able to take care of them. Why not put them in a situation to go to college and better take care of themselves? I was, to me, that's poor parenting by a rich person. I want to know why. Um, I think Republicans what, like because <clears throat> what's important <laughs> at the end of the day is your piece of paper only tells your employer that hey this person knows the conceptualize they know the skills like this piece of paper says that you know something you feel me that you're not coming in a clueless mm-hmm. but your work experience means so much more to that employer that is you true hands on experience that is true so to have your child to work they know because they rich. Mm-hmm. They know that their work experience means that much more for them. Well, maybe us poor people who rely on this piece of paper <laughs> look at it more differently. But you know what? That makes sense, though. That makes sense, though, because a college degree don't really mean too much. Of, you know what no, I'm saying? You ain't all. got work that experience. Don't mean nothing. You know, because there's a lot of people that do go back to school because they can't find no job. And, you know, unless they're hustling, you know, they got their They ride around you know and they're getting it. You know what I mean? But not everybody, you know, say got their hustle entrepreneur spirit. But, you know, but I see, I kind of see the point there. He want them to, but why they can't go to school and work? You know. They can go to school and work, but because they know that that's a lot, they don't have to yeah. do that to their kid. They so rich, they know so many people. Yeah. If they kid got X amount of work experience, all they gotta do is say, "Hey, my child, yeah, did this, true. that, and other." You can go ahead and give them that executive position. And that is true. That is true. So any more wise for that? Any more wise? That was it. Unless uh, Miss Miss and uh, DJ Simone got their own. I wise. mean, I had some wise because I seen some on Facebook earlier this week. Uh-huh. This chick, oh um, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I was about this chick. She had a tattoo on her rear end. Oh, what is it? I want to see it. 
You want to see it? Yeah. No, no, no. Damn it, you nasty. <laughs> it was nasty. Call it what you want. I want to see the tattoo. I'm like, why would you get a tattoo that covered your butt? Entire butt? The entire butt. Like oh, the no, entering no, of it. Oh, no. Mm-mm. What happened when Just she got Just imagine if she would have had one of those family moments where she the grandma going to the beach and all that cellulite is just... Okay. Uh, and uh, tattoo. Uh, all up. Uh, for real, though. For real. <laughs> So we got, uh, we're going to see who the go-getter of the week is this week. The wrap-up, but real quick, here's Diggy with Do It Like You. It's the definition of shivery, y'all. It's still out there. 